good things come to those who wait patiently. Oh, you <laughs> and patience are like two different things. So, <laughs> think. Do you think our relationship is not enjoyable because we don't have children? Like, do you feel like it's less of a relationship? What do you think a child needs to grow properly? Trying to do something. I was in boarding school, and I can tell you, my parents were saying every single thing they wanted to say. I was only agreeing to these things. Was I doing that? Absolutely not. I mean, we have to be honest here. No. Oh, somebody is getting a beat when I go back home. <laughs> Ciao, ragazzi, and welcome back to Lampy. So today, as you can see, we are filming this video from our cow because we still on holiday in Tuscany, but unfortunately the place where we are at the moment doesn't have any good internet connection, so we are forced just to take the car and go somewhere with good internet so that we can film and upload the video for this week. You think so? I yeah. think we have even another problem. You know, we are on a three-week unplanned holiday. Yeah. And we're supposed to be in Tuscany. We are visiting one of our favorite beach place here. Spend and time with the family. Yeah, spend time with the family. But we also, as for YouTube, we're supposed to be filming all the amazing scenery at the beach. Plans changed because the past two days up to today, it has been raining. Yeah. Well, we are here and we can go to the beach. How about take time to reflect? on our marriage and where we are at and one of the topic that every single person not only on youtube mm -hmm. it's also like i think it's like when you got married immediately everybody think they will they would even start asking you this the day you're getting married like at the wedding like oh congratulations when are the babies coming they, they um, start doing like babies this. i just got married we are still here it's just the two of us but that doesn't mean that our marriage is not marriage. Do you feel topic. my parents pressurize you on having uh, children? No, before I even go to your parents, I would just say my mother always after marriage asking every birthday, uh oh, you are done with school, you are married, you are married now. Oh, and it's actually really weird because before we were married my mother knew that we were already dating and living together never asked about children yeah but immediately after getting married it's now oh you know it's it, like it's yeah. like your clock start ticking like your clock is ticking you're married now you should make especially for a woman i think as a woman the pressure is so much yeah that is true i think the final question that i want to ask you here mm -hmm. and, and sometimes i also ask myself and i think do you think our relationship is not enjoyable because we don't have children like do you feel like it's less of a relationship no i don't think that i don't think that because uh, i think we have an amazing relationship um the thing is coming that I, I i do feel i want children i do feel i want children so i want to i'm i think i'm ready to to take this challenge and this and to turn the page in our relationship but th that doesn't mean that i'm unhappy just being the two of us, I just want to experience to do this experience because I think it is going to bring us to a different level and and, and just bring give us a lot of joy in a different way. But I don't think that to be complete and to be an happy couple, you need you definitely child. need a child. If I knew if I was living in Namibia, I would have had kids way way, way like long. Advance. I think two years after university, yeah. married or not married, I would have had kids. Why? Mm. Oh, I have parents, I have cousins, so the the time and the emotion and the energy of taking care of a child will not be as much as when we are living. And I think that is the game changer. It's the two of us in Germany. And yeah. if I think of my German friends who have kids, you also have the mom, you know, grandmother, you drop the child, and that, I don't know. That is also true. For us, you have to imagine we are on our own basically good things come to those who wait patiently oh you and patience are like two different things so <laughs> yeah in this in this one topic i think is the one that i need the most patience not today mm -hmm. not to, I, I don't know it's just... tell me what kind of mother are you going to be 
Uh, you have a very motherly attitude with everybody, with your friends, for example. You're always there, like, give advice. No, you should do that. You should do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> People do don't like that in the chat. Yeah, don't like that. Neither. But that's all mothers do is, like, uh, giving you advice. Uh, you should do that. You should do that. So I think on that, you are going to be really great. You I mean, know, it's not that the baby maybe or the child is going to like it. <laughs> for sure it's not. But for sure it's uh, something that a big requirement for any kind of mother out there. For any kind of mother, for every I, mother I out there, it's like, I mean, if I think about my mother, Italian mother, it's all, always saying, like, what I should do. <laughs> hey, the thing is, if you ever, when you get to be parents, you can do whatever you want, kids are also doing whatever. I mean, I'm thinking. Yeah, they are not uh, going to do whatever they want. So you were doing everything your parents were telling you to do? No, I was not, but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you repeat something, uh, if you repeat something every single day, I was in At the end, school. you're going to do something. I was in boarding school. And I can tell you, my parents were saying every single thing they wanted to say. I was only agreeing to these things. Was I doing that? Absolutely not. I mean, we have to be honest here. No. Ooh, somebody's getting a beat when they go back home. <laughs> the past few years, when you spoke about, are you ready to take your life aside? Mm -hmm. And start a new life where the child is like the central piece of the relationship of the relationship we have been always spontaneous we have no pet we have no child you just wake up like like what what we are doing at the moment is a holiday mm -hmm. it's saturday we are taking three weeks holiday starting monday yep those are no decisions you can make with a child and i think that's the freedom where you're always like am i ready to give my freedom up yeah or oh, i first mm -hmm. want to enjoy a relationship just us and then do this a little bit later but that is one side of the story i think we also need to take into consideration that we are particular person with particular characters and uh, for example i think this perspective is more true on your side for me i always felt like uh, you know nobody is ready to have really ready to have children you should just sometimes learn to go with the flow I know it's hard, it's hard to think like, oh my goodness, what do you mean? You want to have a baby and you want to go with the flow? <laughs> what is that? You definitely need to be ready for that, but you will never be. Because uh, I say that the dynamics in the relationship, they change a lot, especially at the beginning, especially with the first child. Like I mean, you say, be ready, you're going to argue a lot and uh, be ready always to say yes to your wife because that is the only way you're going to get away and stop the discussion. And also he said uh, it's completely worth it at the end because there is so much joy, joy coming into the relationship. But the love between you and your wife are going to change because part of this love is going to be directed to the baby. I'm a very mental person. Like, I would not deny this. Mm -hmm. And even if I try to deny it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think now also because then I'm a woman there is a lot of pressure from the society mm -hmm. at the same time though there is also a lot of pressure for me just within me because i'm a career woman and this is most of the comment that came up from our last video i feel like when we don't have children mm -hmm. and people view us and then are making whatever the assumptions are the assumption that comes towards me as a woman is always harsher then it's, it's more harsh than than what they send to you. Now, I, it, it's surprising, but it's still like, I see this on our previous video that I got really tense judgment just for saying, I feel as a woman, I am not ready. And I think while you always ex, um, express how ready you are and I understand but at the end of the day, this is a decision for a couple, mm -hmm. both of us. I don't necessarily feel like, oh, I'm not ready, but I'm just jumping in because he said we should. And you never need to do something just because your partner is pushing you. Uh, Especially this one, no. <laughs> otherwise, you're going to hate the child because, oh, no, the, I if I didn't so. have the child, I, I, I wouldn't have interrupted my career and maybe I would have yeah. been in a better position now. But. What do you think a child needs to grow properly? Like, what are like the, the things that 
um, a parents should really give to the child to make the child uh, uh, grow in a in a good environment okay. and growing well. Do you want me to answer? No, uh, that is the, the question of the day. You're Tuscany. Uh, trust, I'm sure you're all doubting if you are really in Tuscany at the moment. <laughs> we are in Tuscany, <laughs> believe us. It's hot, even though we have this. Where is the proof? Because it seems like we are probably just in our parking lot in uh, in Germany. Can be anywhere. <laughs> Could be also in Namibia, but we are. Yeah, we being on a serious note, we are actually in Tuscany. Yeah, the weather's like that, and we can't film the way we wanted to. That's what we're doing now. In the car. If you enjoy this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and I also wanted to say, especially now that is our anniversary month, we'll be releasing a little bit more couple related and just things that also we learn from reflect on our relationship, how it has been the past few years, and learn from you as well. Like there are some good comments that come out there, especially Absolutely. when we do the budgeting stuff that we also. Mm -hmm learn from this community. Ciao, ciao, ciao.